For more than 20 years, Davis Love III has been a dominant figure in the game of golf. Throughout his illustrious career, Love has captured 19 PGA Tour victories and has made 20 appearances in international team competition. He's probably kind of the forefront of the, the tall, you know, longer hitter, um, stronger type player. We've all looked up to his game uh, from tee to green, the length, the power that he has, the touch that he has, the way he handles himself on the golf course while he's doing all that is second to none. Love's first win on the PGA Tour came in 1987 at the Heritage. His love affair with Harbortown Golf Links would extend throughout his entire career, winning there a record five times. The win to Davis, Love the third. The 1992 season launched Davis into the spotlight. What a shot. Oh, look at this. Unbelievable shot right there. Heading into the final round of the 1992 players, three strokes off the pace, Love carded a five under par 67 for a four shot triumph. Perhaps his most distinguished achievement in golf came during the 1997 PGA Championship at Wing Foot. Tied for the lead heading into the final day, Love's third 66 of the week gave him a five stroke victory and his first major championship. That is what love is all about. Oh my goodness, just brilliant. Though hoisting the Wanamaker Trophy was his single proudest moment, Davis Love III's most memorable full season came six years later. Love captured a personal best four PGA Tour wins in 2003, including career win number five at Harbortown. And look out, it's tracking. More than a decade later, after collecting his first win at the Players, Davis battled the star-studded field and the elements to win his second Players title, advancing inside the top five in the official World Golf Ranking. And 11 years later, Davis Love has won the Players' Championship again. But beyond the player, there is Davis Love the husband, father, friend, and philanthropist. He epitomizes everything about that. You know, I always kind of said if I had a son and I raised him and he was as good as Davis Love, I would have done a fantastic job. Davis's father, a highly regarded teaching pro, instilled in his son the core values of honesty, integrity, and giving back at a very young age. Being around golf, I think most kids who are around golf most of their lives realize the benefits that we can bestow uh, as professional golfers. And if we get to that position to give back to the game, uh, we're all more than happy to do that. And Davis is at the head of the class with that. Davis Love is a big golf name, but bigger name on the tour with friends. I've had a tournament in Seattle. Davis played five or six years in a row, would never think about missing it. And Seattle's a long way for a lot of these guys to go. And he was one of my mainstays to ask. And after the first time asking me, I never had to do it again. Davis kind of takes that extra step and you know he works hard at it and, and he wants to give back to the game. And he gives a lot back. And, you know, all the players appreciate it and, and everybody that, that he helps out uh, appreciates Davis and the work that he's done. In 2005, he established the Davis Love Foundation a nonprofit institution focused on supporting community-based programs to help children and their families. Davis has also been involved in such charities as the First Tee, the Kyle Petty Charity Ride Across America, and many, many others. He's one of those guys that still a lot of the tour looks up to him for his leadership, what he thinks, what he believes in, and uh, he just has a knack of uh, being able to say the right thing at the right time and put things in perspective, and kind of following the steps of the people in front of him doing what's right for our tour and for the game of golf and trying to leave it better for the players behind him. Well, he's a great golfer, but first of all, he's a true gentleman, great father, great husband, and great friend of mine. So he's a guy that at 10 o'clock at night, you'll call and you'll have some talks with and he'll straighten you out. And for him to win the Payne Stewart Award, I'm very happy for him.